All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. My name is Corey. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. And today we're going to be going over the Scarlet Sorceress class, brand new class in Adventure Quest Worlds, available to all players for free. I did a video, the last video on my channel. If you want to see that, that is how to get the class. A lot to get this video in three, two, one. This way forever. <laughs> Alright, so the first things first, how to get the class. I did a video on it, but I'll show you in this video because it's super easy. You want to slash join Tower of Mirrors, and then run to the boss. Uh, you will have to finish the quest to get to the boss, like in most areas. But once you do, the class drops from the boss. It's right up here, very, very easy to get to. Uh, lots of people farming it right now because this boss drops the class. So you can get that boss right there, very easy, and the class drops from that boss uh, everyone's saying it's about a 1% drop so you can get it from them and you can also get the armor for the class if you just want the armor for your character so but the armor is female only so it won't change into a male armor if you put it onto a male character it always stays female and it does make your face female also so let's move on to how to enhance the class all right so as far as enhancements go I would highly highly recommend putting a little bit of luck in with a wizard base. So I have the class enhanced wizard, my blade, uh, which I'm not using a blade, I'm using unarmed because it's very, very stable. Uh, the class does do 40% weapon damage, so you're not even doing your full weapon damage, but that is an issue, I'll go over that later. Uh, so we're using a stable unarmed just for the sake of the video. Uh, normally, I would highly recommend using stable instead of an unstable weapon. Uh, for this class because uh, the unstables will uh, kill you a lot because you're doing a little bit of knockback damage with this class so you don't want an unstable knockback on yourself because you'll die a lot more often so I'd highly recommend something like the burning blade if you're using this class for yourself which most likely you are uh, but for the sake of the video we're going to be using unarmed for comparison's sake so I put uh, luck on my weapon with on the class uh, luck on the helmet we have luck on the cape, or not luck on the helmet, uh, wizard on the helmet, and luck on the cape. So we're going half and half. We're splitting it between uh, wizard and luck. Although I think the class, is, I think we have more wiz because whatever you put on the class affects it, affects it a lot more. So a little bit more wiz, but we're going, we're putting a little bit of luck into this so we can hit those higher criticals and just deal more damage. Um, so that's the enhancements. So let's go over how to use the class. Okay, so. Let's go over skills real fast. I mean, it, once you get the class, you can basically figure out the skills, but I'll go through a, a quick explanation of the skills before we get in it. So let's start at the back. This one is the main thing that you're gonna wanna be using a lot. This is your fifth skill. Uh, it's going to take away 10% of your health, but increase your healing by 20% and your damage by 50%, uh, and also your damage resistance by 10%. Uh, and, and this lasts for 18 seconds and can be stacked up to five. Uh, and it costs no mana, so you can literally just sit into a room and you like a Yolgar and just spam this uh, Spam the skill and it lasts 18 seconds And I think you have enough time to get up to five stacks and then you can use a skill So basically when you're using the class You want to get this up to five so you want to go one two three four and then five and then use uh, Your four skill like that. So then your four skill will do a lot of your damage. Uh, it's very effective uh, we will be testing that on pirates and also other sorts of bosses. Uh, some people recommended I don't fight Blood Titan, which we won't do that today. So let's move on to the next skill. Uh, the next skill. Uh, so that's basically the base skill. The other skills are um, not. Where's stats of class? They're not that interesting. I mean, it targets up to three hostiles, so it does hit three instead of two. I think some classes only hit two, maybe. Uh, uh, yeah, I think some classes only hit two. Uh, this one hits three, which is very nice, very good for farming. I've been using this a lot for farming, and it's pretty good. So these two skills hit up to two targets. This one has a chance to stun uh, for six seconds. It snaps a little bit of their haste, adds a little bit. They're, they're all just good things that happen to you. Um, a lot of your skills uh, do affect your health, and your auto attack does give you health back. So very interesting. So this is your auto attack, bloodlust. Uh, your thirst for blood forces consist uh, force you to consistently seek it. Your weapon is immune with scarlet sorcery and drains the blood with each strike. The magic weakens your weapon's efficiency, 
causing you to deal 40% less damage, uh, but heals you with each strike. The heal is increases your health dwindles and your thirst for blood gets greater. It's a very unstable sort of class, so that's why I recommend using a stable weapon on it to make it a little bit more stable. Um, so basically your auto attack heals you, uh, this will take away your health, uh, and then this buffs the other skills. That's basically all you need to know about it. And then if you're doing PvP, um, this one has a stun on it. I'm pretty certain, yes. They're at 40% chance of stunning for 3 seconds. So, that's basically what you need to know about the class. Like, all the skills hit, or most of the skills hit multi-targets. Pretty simple. And uh, I basically showed you how to use it there. So let's go test it out on some enemies now. Uh, in the skill part, I kind of forgot the rank 10 passive, so I'll go over that real quick right now. It's called Titanic Bloodline. It is acquirable at rank 10, of course. I have the class rank 10 for me. And it says, once in a great while, you'll tap your full potential of power of blood and greatly increase your damage output and damage resistant and haste for a short time. So that's your way your rank 10 passive does. It's just a random boost to your damage and your damage resistance, which is very nice. So the rank 10 passive is definitely worth getting on this class. Is the class worth getting? Uh, you'll see right here that it, it yes, yes it is. So, uh, we can stack one. So this is what, how you're going to want to use the class. You're going to want to stack it two. Three. You don't have to do this. You can do this in combat. Uh, four. I'm just showing you how good the damage can be if you get full stack. Five. And then you do that. Uh, that didn't work out as good as I thought it would be. Uh, I don't think I used the three properly there. I might have. I think I. I think I did the combo wrong. I should have probably went two three, there. Uh, let's try this one more time. I'll get five stacks again. And five. So as you can see, when you use your force skill, it heals them uh, for a little bit, but you're dealing more damage, and we just wipe them out real quick right there. So getting the five stacks is pretty important. Uh, you could probably go up to three or four stacks, or two, two to two to four is probably like maybe three is probably your sweet spot for the amount of time you have to spend stacking to the amount of damage you're gonna get. So maybe three is a lot more appropriate for the amount of stacks you get, but you can go up to five and just do huge amounts of damage. Uh, when I was using, it, I was just basically uh, for farming, I was spamming two and five. I was just go uh, so basically just using class like this. So your two hits three targets, and I was using my five to just kind of buff the 2 skill uh, and then of course you would have to hit the autos for your heal and as you can see that's doing a, uh, a decent amount of damage you know you don't do very much damage on your just normal auto attacks unless you have a few stacks and sometimes your fiscal doesn't like to pop but it does a decent amount of damage for just normal farming like that but it's better off if you get more stacks uh, one thing I don't like about this class too much is that you really have to focus on stacking um, which is kind of a negative uh, be when you're just like when you're farming like a, an item that takes a long time to farm for and you just kind of want to sit there uh, w like with shaman and blaze miner and just smash two three two three two three two three over and over again and just being healed by your uh, by the other people in the room or just healed by your class passively uh, this class does die uh, when you're farming um, I died a few times farming it doesn't die too often like it's not but they're, they're, if RNG hits you just right you will die uh, just farming normally with the class even against low level mobs like these pirates here So to keep that in account, but it is a very good class for farming uh, Especially when you're farming like super low health because uh, it's kind of like a troll spellsmith where you'll just kill them all Almost in one hit. It's pretty lethal especially if you're doing stacks, which uh, People were saying they were gonna nerf this because it's so strong when you're actually using it that it, it, it almost might It might be overpowered Especially used properly. If you see that, like the insane amount of damage you can do to three targets at once is pretty, pretty big damage. Uh, so that's how the class goes up against normal mobs. Uh, let's take it up against a boss. I haven't tried this yet, so this will be the first time on this video. Here we are at a boss. Uh, this is the boss I'm going to be using uh, because for the last video of the Great Thief, a class guide I did, people were like, uh, Cory, Blood Titan has a 100% chance to hit you, and I'm like, well that's no good, that's kind of cheating, Blood Titan. Why you got your hacks, Blood Titan? So, uh, we're going to go up against this guy, same level as the pirates, so it's a fair comparison, up against towards the pirates, and this guy has a lot of damage resistance. So, if you're going against a boss with a lot less damage resistance, uh, this class will do better than it, what I'm showing you right now. But this dragon has a lot of damage resistance, so it's uh, kind of a 
worst case scenario, but a kind of fair case scenario. So it's an average type boss, but with a high damage resistance. So let's see what we can do here. Our Artos will be healing us, uh, but you need to be doing damage to heal. So stacking your five is pretty important in a boss fight, I would say. And uh, I don't think you'll be able to solo a boss with this class. Uh, maybe not the way I use it. So we're going to have to get rid of our stacks here for damage. There we go. Uh, we need that damage because our damage is our heal. So our auto attack damage is our heal. We just hit a 5k there. Pretty good. We're doing decent dot damage. As you can see, we're dishing out a decent amount of damage to this guy. Uh, more than Dragon Slayer. <laughs> the Dragon Slayer general class. Oh my god. Uh, so this class is 100% free for all players. Uh, it drops off a boss. It's very easy. Yet you can get it at low levels. Uh, and it's insanely good for what how easy it is to get. No rep, nothing for this class. It's going to be the class that I recommend to a lot of people in the future. Uh, so should you get the class? The the answer to that question is 100% yes. It's super easy to get. You don't have to spend ACs on it like some of the classes in the past. It's very easy to get. A very good class. It's staying alive a lot longer than I thought it would, to be honest. Like these, uh, It's super, super good for staying up. Uh, it does have mana issues. A lot of people complain about that. But for how powerful it is, it should have should have a, a little bit of a downside with the, the mana. But your physical costs no mana at all, which is pretty insane. They might actually add a mana cost to that. If they were going to nerf the class at all, I would guess they would do something like that. Maybe a small mana, like a 10 mana cost to the uh, the fifth skill uh, might be appropriate. Or maybe like a uh, 5 mana cost or some lower than 10 where it takes up about like 25% uh, of your mana to stack. And then you can use, then you don't have that extra mana later. Because uh, it is a little OP this class at the moment. So you might want to pick it up and use it. Uh, because there, there may or may not be a nerf incoming. I, it's pretty balanced, but we don't know. Uh, I will try this out in PvP in the video because I know someone wants to see it. So I'm always going to do PvP at the end of my uh, testing out videos. And sorry about the uh, keyboard. Uh, very loud keyboard. So the class is handling itself a lot better than I thought it was going to be handling, honestly. Uh, my health is staying full. Uh, the boss is draining slowly, of course, because of huge damage resistance and the uh, the random nature of this class. And uh, the luck enhancements are really helping us hit those good crits. Like you don't hit the good crits like uh, like I'm hitting in this video unless you have those two luck uh, with the two is. That seems to be the uh, sweet spot for this class as far as enhancements goes. I was rocking one uh, luck and two and three whiz. Uh, for most of the time it's using the class and uh, you hit bigger criticals with the two luck definitely So uh, we're gonna beat this boss. Uh, so I'm gonna stop it here and let's move on to PvP Hmm, That's pretty interesting. You can actually stun this boss. Uh, I hit a stun on him Pretty interesting this class. I like this class and We are finished. Wow. This class has a lot more solo potential than I thought it would have and uh, Shout out to these guys for not jumping in on the fight. Yeah uh, Thank you. I don't know who these guys are, but they didn't they didn't join in the fight at all, which is great. So, class has a huge solo potential, a lot more than I thought it would have. <laughs> Good job. I did, I honestly thought I was going to die in that fight. Honestly, I did. But, uh, yeah, very good. Let's move on to some PvP. We will be using the 1500 amulet in PvP because that's only fair because everyone can use the 1500 amulet. So, if we go up against a guy with a lot more health that's not going to be good for us so let's hope we don't do that i've never tried this class in pvp this is honestly my first fight ever in pvp with this class so i don't know what the appropriate skill moves are for it and there's a fly in my room uh hopefully that doesn't lose us the fight so i'm guessing that okay we got wrecked but it was another scarlet sorceress so it's not really that fair of a fight and that person probably knows how to use the class in pvp because honestly i have no clue how to use it i'm just trying to show you guys how what it does in pvp i, I have a general uh, understanding of how to use it so let's move on to the next fight all right we found one exos okay let's go i don't know how important stacking is honestly uh you probably want to stack in the three two one screen uh that would probably be better uh that was an alpha who stunned and wrecked us real quick 
You probably want to stack in the screen. I don't. I honestly don't think this class is gonna do. I don't think we're gonna win one PVP match. Honestly. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's start stacking. Okay, we can probably hit two stacks before the fight even starts. Oh, we hit two. Are we gonna hit three? Oh, we hit three stacks. Uh, apparently the opponent. Uh, we're gonna hit four. Uh, we hit four stacks. Uh, and we hit five stacks, and the fight didn't even start. Okay, this is, uh, we're gonna have to find another fight. Alright, let's hope we can actually get this one. I'll start stacking. Um, I started stacking a little late. Alright, we hit two stacks before the fight even started. Let's hit him with that. Oh my god, we just got wrecked. Okay, I, I, I've come to the conclusion, and hopefully you have sitting at home also uh, this is not a pvp class not even close it's probably one of the worst classes i've tried in pvp in a while definitely not made for pvp it's strictly a farming slash boss class if you want to use it for bosses wouldn't recommend it for bosses if you, you can use stone crusher please use stone crusher when you're farming a boss please um stone crusher is amazing um yeah it's a very good class for farming I think that's the conclusion of this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on the video. Let's see if we can get up to 250 likes on this video. That'd be amazing. Amazing. Uh, other than that, get the class. It's at slash join Tower of Mirrors, like I said before. Uh, very easy to get. Probably one percentage drop. So you can get it there. Very nice class. Any player can get it. Free players can get it. Low levels can get it. No restrictions, no rep, no ACs. 100% free. Very nice class for what it is and how easy it is to get. And uh, I think it's going to be one of the classes I keep in my inventory, which I don't keep very many. Oh, well, that's a lie. That's I, I do keep a few in my inventory. <laughs> but it will be one of the classes I use more often in my inventory than not. So thanks for watching the video again, guys. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Click the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen it yet. And I'll see you all in the next one.